Have you ever wondered what is the difference between a worker at a nine to five job versus the owner of the company and how they spend their time differently? We're going to talk about that in today's episode of Black Men's Career. So what's going on, guys? It's Uzziah, your success consultant. And today I want to give you the big difference. This is a very important video. Make sure you take notes and please subscribe. Here's the big difference between the difference between being a nine to five worker at a job versus the owner of a company in terms of how they manage their time and what they prioritize. Now, I want to start by saying this. There was a wise man that once made a famous saying. He said, if you've got eight hours in a day to chop down a tree, spend the first four hours sharpening the saw. And that separates the difference between a owner versus a worker. So let's start talking about it. Let's start talking about um, how both people will achieve income in their life in two totally separate ways, okay? So you first start out with income. This is what we all need to keep a roof over our heads, right? But then you've got income that comes through as being a worker. This person works for a company. And then you have an owner. This person runs the company. So I want you to think about this. If you got eight hours to cut down a tree to be able to make income, you spend the first four hours sharpening the saw. So how does the worker go about doing this? Well, the worker focuses primarily upon self-investment, okay? Self-improvement right? How they can develop their own set of skills. So the worker will really make a big investment in their education. Okay. We're going to start talking about themselves. Okay. The worker will begin investing in them. So your average worker in America today has had some level of schooling and those that have, you know, slightly better jobs on average might be, you know, college educated. They might have graduated with advanced degrees. They will do things that's necessary to develop themselves. So it could be them getting a degree. Okay. It could be a certification. They can have some type of training and skill set that will allow them to be a more marketable candidate for a position that will give them a nine to five income. What separates a worker versus an owner? Well, the owner has to have a certain skill set too. But you know what? The owner doesn't make themselves the biggest investment. They make their biggest investment into their system. The system is what ultimately will run the company. It becomes the backbone of the corporation. And this is the primary difference between how both parties, although they both work very hard, go about establishing their income in life. See that? Both parties require an asset in order for them to become successful. Both parties understand that you can't make something out of nothing. So when the worker wants to be able to make more money, they say, you know what? Maybe the reason why I'm not in the right job is because I don't have the right level of training. So I will go back to school, right? The reason why they have that thought process is because They've always been trained to see themselves as the primary asset to generate income and to build wealth. You know how you were always taught growing up, go to school, make good grades, get a good job, work hard, right? Study long hours, put in the time. When you were told all of those things, guess what? It always kept you at the forefront. After you started hearing those messages being programmed into your head over and over and over again, you began to slowly develop a frame of mind 
that you yourself are the asset. And that's the reason why whenever you, the asset in this scenario, end your work, you stop getting paid because you are no longer that asset that's contributing to the company to yield more income. In this equation, when you stop working, you stop making money. That's the reason why owners oftentimes don't make the grandest investment in themselves, but rather their system. Because you got to ask yourself, okay, who's going to work harder over more extended periods of time? Am I going to be working harder over more extended periods of time or is my system going to be working harder over more extended period of time? Let me take a step back to really help you understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a system. Okay, let's look at a business that everybody knows like McDonald's. McDonald's started off with two primary entrepreneur brothers, right? Dick and Richard McDonald or I'm sorry, Dick and Mac McDonald, the McDonald's brothers. If you haven't checked out the movie, The Founder, I think it's a great uh, movie, one of the best business movies I've ever watched. Really entertaining. But when you're looking at those two brothers, they built a highly revolutionary system in order to be able to constantly produce burgers, fries, and shakes. Now, this system has been so refined over so many years that Dick and Mac McDonald don't even have to be at the store, much less alive, to be able to see their business constantly growing over and over and over again. They have developed an automated system that will allow them to be able to produce income. OK, now, when you read about the story of the McDonald's brothers, obviously it grew over time with guys like Ray Kroc. And he was the one that really set up all of these different franchises. But you couldn't set up the McDonald's franchise without a system. It couldn't be Ray A. Kroc or the McDonald's brothers at all of these different McDonald's locations doing this and doing that. No, the system was always going to work harder than them. And that's the thing that separates the owner's income versus the worker's income. Now, here's the question. Between the two, who typically gets paid more? Because while the owners work focused on building up their system, the worker is focused on building up themselves, right? So while the McDonald's brothers are sitting here plotting on how to be able to sharpen, you know, the saw, right? The worker says, you know what? I don't really care about the saw that much. All I got to do is keep grinding away at the tree. And in grinding away at the tree, eventually the tree will fall. And yeah, you might be able to get the tree to fall. But chances are you're going to have to work a hell of a lot harder to chop down that tree with whatever dull instrument that you were using rather than taking the time to sharpen your saw. And guess what else? What if you over time spent your hours and your investment into getting a chainsaw rather than just you keep socking and punching the tree over and over and over again, hoping that the tree is going to fall while you're breaking your hand in the process. See, again, I want you, I want you to keep this in mind. Both of these people, right? Because these are typically the two types of people in most facets of business, the worker versus the owner. The worker makes the asset themselves, okay? So as they invest in themselves, if they want to work uh, and make more money, they'll invest more hours themselves. They'll put more uh, time into being at the job. If the asset is the system coming from the owner, they will invest more into the system itself. So rather than going back to school and trying to figure something out, the system, they might come out with better tools. They may have better equipment. They may have more efficient processes. They may focus more on training and documentation 
and showing other people how to be able to work the system that they just built rather than doing it themselves. See, this is very, 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 very important for you to get down because if you don't understand how this game is played, by default, you're always going to move to this side of the equation. But when you move to this side of the equation, you'll be able to make a living for yourself, okay? If you move to this side of the equation, you'll have a much better chance of being able to make a fortune. Now, why is that? Okay, got to reposition this for y'all. You'll see everything here. <laughs> okay, why is it that this person has a much more likely chance of making a living while this person has a chance of making a fortune? Because it's all a matter of time, right? There's only so much time in a day that you could be at your job or that you would even want to be at your job generating an income. All you can work within a day is 24 hours and eventually you're going to run out of energy. No sane person would want to work 24 hours in a day, day after day after day after day, right? And so because you're investing in yourself as the asset, right? You're going to make sure that you cannot go as far as you possibly could have gone if you made the investment in a system or a machine, that had far greater capabilities of being able to work more over time. You might only want to work eight hours in a day, but you could build a system for yourself that can work 24, right? So if you're making money every eight hours versus the system that's generating you money every 24 hours, you tell me which one you think is going to be on the better half of the wealth equation. While workers typically invest in themselves as the asset, owners typically make a point of investing in their system. And that's the easiest way that I can break this down. You know, there's nothing wrong with trying to be able to improve, learn new skills and get better. But the difference is as workers try to get new skills to get better, it's all about themselves, their degree, their intellect, their contribution, right? But when you leave that job, you don't, you're not still generating wealth from that position because you made yourself the asset. Your human capital became the asset that was generating income. Owners, they don't make themselves the asset because the average person is only working eight hours a day, but yet there's 24 hours in a day. So the, law, the majority of time that you could have been generating an income for yourself, a lot of those hours you didn't even have to be putting in as working hours. You could have just had a system that could have been fully automated, that could have been working to make the money for you, and that's how you're using a sharper saw. The person on this end of the equation, this person actually sharpens the saw, okay? This person goes to the tree, and they just say, well, you know what? I'm just gonna focus on making myself stronger. I'm going to focus on making myself the right person. This person says, I'm going to focus on making the right tool. Okay? So, here's what I want you to do. I want you to leave me a comment. And I want you to ask any question that you have around this income generating model. This is the basic fundamental difference on what separates the efforts of a worker that works at a nine to five company versus an owner that runs the nine to five company. Which one do you desire to be long-term? If you plan on building wealth, it will be much better for you to be on this side. Why? Because two thirds of all millionaires in America today are owners of businesses. The reason why is because of what I went over in today's lesson. They have a system that is working for them 24 hours a day. They understand their own personal limitations and they understand what the things that they want to get out of life, it goes far beyond just working at a job. So they step away while money is still getting made. This person steps away and no money is getting made. Okay. Which one are you going to be long term? Ask me any questions that you have pertaining to this subject, and I will see you on the next video. But wait, 
if you want to know how to be able to create a system for yourself, because all empires are run off of great systems, make sure that you click below to download the empire builder so I can show you how to be able to start setting this up from scratch. Just like it says, if you got eight hours, right, to chop down a tree, spend the first four hours sharpening your saw, which means you would have to be spending some time, effort, dedication, and patience to really focus on building up your system over time. It's definitely possible. So many other businesses have done it. Amazon has a system. FedEx has a system. McDonald's has a system. The question is, where is your system? No matter how smart these guys were that built their companies, whether it was Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Howard Schultz, you name it. No matter how smart these guys might have been personally, they made their largest investments in the system rather than themselves. Leave me a comment, ask me anything. Make sure that you click below to download the Empire in the description box. Open up the arrow if you're on your smartphone. Get the Empire Builder, this is all for free. It's my gift to you. I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you share this video. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.